They call that they call that fortified wine. Apparently, what, now, this what, is, what uh, they've done is they've uh, they've thrown brandy in there to make make sure it'll it'll make it on the ship to the new world. <laughs> so this is like wine that's 150 years old, or no, no, still, no. Uh, um, well, it's it's basically made the way that they did back in the 1400s and the and the 1600s. Basically, during the age of discovery, they said, "Well, we got to get the wine over to the New World because we just can't go over there dry." Really? No, we can't do that. So they're still making wine the way they were in the 1400s. Yeah, man, Actually, this is perfect. See, it's a perfect segment for religious radio. That's not quite right. Because that's kind of what religion is. It's sort of like you know, to too many people. <laughs> sort of the worldview from the 1400s. If yeah. we could just get back then. <laughs> well, they've they've changed it actually. Things would be so, all fine. And they've actually just made a step up and improved it. Yeah. So so in in the category of fortified wines, you've got your port, Madeira, sherry, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So ports from Portugal, sherry's from Spain. Uh, Madeira's from an island off the west coast See, of See, folks, I got to tell you, this is what you should find helpful about this radio broadcast. I did not know that port was from Portugal. Oh yeah, no. Well, I mean, yeah. Originally, thank you for laughing. I'd appreciate that. I think that that's. I think it's humorous as well. But how would a guy know that? I don't know. That's. I don't know. I guess that's a good. I thought it was like for portly, like it was like. Yeah. Uh-huh. There like you go. It, yeah. There okay, go. Grover. Grover. <laughs> portly guys I, I'm, only. I'm going to bet everything I've ever earned and everything I will earn that you also didn't know that was from Portugal. <laughs> Porto. What? Am I? What? <laughs> yeah. All right. So port wine is from Portugal. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I don't want to yes, knock you yes. off. Topic here, but no. that's that's where the that's where the grape is grown. I guess the uh, I guess the well, they grow eighty different varieties of grapes for port. Oh boy, yeah. So this this port wine's from Minnesota, right here from Saint Croix Vineyards, for example. Oh. I've got a different one from Portugal, um, but this one is is um, Zinfandel grapes from California, and they and they they. Uh, now that's in a fu- that, that, that's in a different looking bottle. Hold hold that bottle yeah. up to the camera there, so people are watching. See, folks, if if you don't have the fortified Doug Padgett Radio program, which you can get online at DougPadgettRadio.com, you can go over there and you can look at the uh, the video being made here of the program. But Matt's holding up a wine bottle. It looks more like a um, like a like a, v- a virgin oil bottle. Yeah, looks a little bit like that. You can choose. You know, there are traditional bottles for traditional drinks and. Uh, yeah. Is this the traditional port bottle, um, or are they just no? Being this fancy? is this is the traditional one, actually. So Saint Croix Vineyards is is going going down that road. That this is a ice wine glass, typically, um, is where I've seen it mostly. And ice wine is a whole other thing. We can talk about. Yeah, that. well, we will. That's big, where we big in Canada and upstate New York and so forth. So okay, so. Uh, so we've got three different wines here. Some that are for, all of them that are fortified with they're, brandy. There, yes, yes. Uh, mm. Port two two ports in Minnesota and a Portuguese, and then we've got a Madeira, which is from the island of Madeira off the west coast of Africa. Of course, but yeah. the Portuguese went over and said, "We'll we'll have that island in 1418, <laughs> and uh, we'll 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 start making this stuff here." And, and basically, this is this is the closest stuff to what the forefathers or, or the the first discoverers of the New World. Uh, let me go back on the word discovery, by the way. Yeah. But, you know, tripped upon. Oops, there's some people already here, but yeah, we, we'll say we discovered yes. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah we discovered deal. them. Yeah, and uh, uh, they, they they were previously undiscovered. Yes, <laughs> it's like a, like an unsigned band, and uh, so they they this is this is pretty much close it, to what what uh, people and, were drinking. And back I'll tell you, the, the look doesn't it doesn't look like wine. It looks more like bland, brandy. It's it's sort of yeah. clear. I mean, it's, yeah. it's more clear than a than a wine. Well, it's the funny thing is you've got sort of ox, there's there's some bad wine terms oxidization if it gets oh. too much if the cork leaks oxygen uh-huh. yeah and if it gets he- overheated it's called matterized but uh, or stewed or baked yeah but the the word matterized comes from Madeira which is this island yeah so what happened was the wines they had to fortify to stop the fermentation for the ship ride over to the New World. The heat and so forth gotcha. made it a certain way. It, it stewed it, and then they they decided, you know, this actually tastes pretty darn good. And so what they 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 started this. So this, it was an accident. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah, which is which happens quite a bit. And, and the guys uh, are like, you know, I think that that stuff got heated up on the ship there. And I don't think it's any good anymore. And the one guy goes, hey. Pass it over here. <laughs> exactly. I'll we'll drink see it. About that. <laughs> like get Mikey. Yeah. You know. <laughs> he likes it. He'll like it. <laughs> we'll, we'll sell it. <laughs> so now they've got the term matterization, but they, they uh, you know, they couldn't, it was a little expensive to start making this stuff by just putting it on a ship and sending it across the Atlantic. So they said, we'll stick it in the attic of a, of a wooden house and steam it. Uh, the uh, roofigen, um, Fantastic. Estivigen, estivigen? yeah. Estivigen. So now it's called matterized. Yeah. Well, that's that's what a bad. That's what wine is. That oh. if it gets baked in in the back of your car, if you're you're driving around in yeah. Napa and Sonoma, but yeah, um, they they uh, they either steam it in a in a hot room in in Portugal or they actually steam heat it sometimes now. Okay. If they're going to do it. This, you know. The, 
Yeah, a little cost way, but that, that's a little. Okay, sorry. and 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 why would someone enjoy this, or what 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 environment would you would but you want one of these? These uh, are dessert wines, dessert wines, wines to get you through the cold weather, and that's why we're talking about it right now. All right, now I like this idea yeah. because I I can't find anything to get me through this cold weather. <laughs> it's killing me. I mean, it's just. Well, I might so, have to leave you with so some pass of this. a glass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which one do you want? Okay, so 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 let's that talk about. Am, am I, I going to get to taste this one? Yeah, right. yeah. This All is right, so, this is the this is the old stuff that that you know the the discovers. It of, smells far more. More like brandy. Yeah, well, it's got this girl I knew once. <laughs> it's a percentage. <laughs> Google brandy, and you're going to get a singer. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid of that. Yeah, but okay. uh, here we go. It, Doug, <laughs> little silence on the radio. <sighs> oh yeah, it's very sweet. It's sweet. Yeah. So you you want to? Did I take the, too big of a gulp there? No, probably not. Um, but it's 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 good with uh, chocolates or nuts, oh, fruit. Yeah. Um, but uh, port is a classic pairing with uh, with blue cheese, Stilton cheese, classic. And I put I put port on vanilla vanilla bean ice cream. Love it, black mm-hmm. bean vanilla. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's good dessert. Yeah, you you, you pour it over there like a little topping. Oh yeah. Huh. Yeah. Forget the chocolate. Just this. So it's great for the winter. Great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that's that's it. It hardly tastes like a wine. It tastes like a sweet brandy, which yeah. I guess is what you're getting at. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a dessert wine. I mean, you've got you've got it's a sort of a, a dessert. You've got digestives which help digest the meal. You've got aperitifs that get your appetite ready for the meal, and uh, there's there's functions for for a lot of the wines. You, you're saying a different kind of a wine you would drink before the meal. Oh, yeah, yeah. And this one you drink after the meal. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, 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 what else do we have? Well, we've got the we've got the regular port. So, if you're if you're looking at your in your wine shops, there's one minute. We got one minute. This no is problem. unbelievable. We can do it. We've got uh, you know basically there's about nine different types of port, but uh, you're probably going to see um, ruby, tawny, that kind of stuff in in your in your shops. And this isn't as complicated as wine in that you're pretty much going to see the quality based upon the price. So there's not a lot of okay. you know they got to figure it out. So, you so that see, one I just tasted, what would that run a guy? Oh, that that might run you about in the thirty to forty dollars. But this thing doesn't go bad. In the, that stuff. <laughs> it doesn't go bad in a couple of days. <laughs> so I've never buy it. But uh, you get, you get a you can get but you can hold it for a month or so. Oh, I mean you know this isn't going to go bad or, in three or with days. a cap on it. Yeah, exactly. All right, so that's Matt Henry. <clears throat> this is Doug Padgett Radio. We like to talk about uh, the wine that you should have with your uh, with your coming meal. Matt, this is fantastic. Yeah, Thanks. Yeah, you bet. Thanks. Try a port, folks. It's yeah. terrific. Doug Padger Radio, Religious Radio. It's not quite right. On AM 950, the voice of Minnesota. Oh,